Hello, and welcome to Mesquite Living Waters Fellowship's Wednesday's Word Series. We invite you now to sit back, relax, and enjoy today's message. Good morning. Welcome to Wednesday Word at Living Waters Fellowship. My name is uh, Charlie Riggs, and I'm going to speak about hope today, something we all need and uh, under present circumstances desire. Hope by Samuel Smiles, a 16th century preacher. He said, hope is like the sun, which as we journey towards it, casts a shadow of our burden behind us. Remember Lot's wife? Turned around to take a quick look at the city she left, and she was turned into a pillar of salt. <clears throat> the old world or life, just like our shadow or our burden, is to be left behind. Our future lies before us towards the sun, Jesus Christ, the Messiah, the Anointed One. In Romans 4.18, talks about Abraham. There was uh, nothing in Abraham's situation to justify hope that Sarah would ever give birth to a son. But because Abraham believed in God, he could against hope believe in hope. Biblical hope is inseparable from faith in God. You can expect future blessings that are in, at present invisible. The goodness of God is never, ever exhausted. Romans 15, 4, section B, that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. Colossians 1, 27b, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. Romans 8, 24a, for we are saved by hope. 1 Thessalonians 5, 8, but let us who are of the day be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love and for a helmet the hope of salvation. Hebrews 6.19 Now we have this hope as a sure and steadfast anchor of the soul. It cannot slip and it cannot break down. <clears throat> no matter who steps on it to move out. A hope that reaches farther and enters into the very certainty of the presence within the veil. A corresponding chapter or verse is uh, Leviticus 16, 2. You can look that up. I pray that you all have Bibles. <laughs> Hebrews 11, 1. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. You have assurance that things you hope for are real. Romans 5, 5a. And hope maketh not ashamed. His hope never, never disappoints. Romans 15, 13. May the God of your hope so fulfill you that all joy and peace in believing through the experience of your faith, that by the power of the Holy Spirit you may abound and be overflowing, bubbling over with hope. 1 Corinthians 15, 19. If we who are abiding in Christ have hope only in this life, and that is all, then we are of all people most miserable to be pitied. 
hope for you, hope for now and eternity. You have, we need hope not just for today, to save today, to take us into eternity. We have to hope towards that eternity and onward. Who knows what we'll be doing? We'll always need faith no matter what. And the question is, do you have eternal life? Our heroes of faith in Hebrews 11 are also radiant beacons of hope. Read chapter 11 of Hebrews. Believe it. You can't help but get inspired. Your hope is bound to rise. Speak yourself upwards in hope. Talk to yourself. Proclaim the truths of God. Build yourself up in truth. And therefore, you'll have a, a hopeful day, a wonderful day, a day in the sun. The threefold combinations of faith, hope, and love is found in, and I hope you have a pencil ready, because I'm just going to read the verses off and you can look them up. 1 Thessalonians 1.3 and 5.8 Galatians 5 5 and 6 1 Corinthians 13.3 Hebrews 6 10 through 12 1 Peter 1 21 and 22 there you are. Homework assignment. <laughs> hope hope can, cannot exist apart from faith. And love cannot be exercised without hope. These three things together comprise a Christian's life. In conclusion, the last verse... 1 Corinthians 13, 13. And so faith, hope, love, abide, faith, conviction, and belief respecting man's relationship to God, hope, joyful and confident expectation of eternal salvation, love, true affection for God and man, growing out of God's love for and in us. These three, but the greatest of these is love. Thank you very much. Have a blessed day.